Google just went full beast mode at I.O. 2025. Massive AI upgrades, a $250 ultra plan that thinks before it speaks, full-on filmmaking tools with sound and video stitched together by AI, a search tab that books your tickets for you, and glasses that turn real life into a live Gemini demo. We've got robots that code, models that generate apps in seconds, 3D video calls that feel like teleportation, and a new VO3 model that makes AI movies with background noise, music, and actual dialogue. This isn't an update, it's a full reset of Google's entire ecosystem, so let's talk about it. First off, Google set the stage with numbers that are almost cartoonish. A year ago, they processed 9.7 trillion tokens a month. Right now, they're chewing through over 480 trillion, 50 times more. Seven million developers are already building with Gemini, and the consumer app has blown past 400 million monthly active users. Dunder Pichai's phrase was shipping at a relentless pace, and the graphs prove it. The average ELO score across their models is up 300 points since the original Gemini Pro, and 2.5 Pro now sweeps every category on the LM Arena leader. All that is running on the new Ironwood TPU pods, 10 times the performance of the last generation, maxing out at 42.5 exaflops per pod. So yeah, they're basically bragging that the hardware is no longer the bottleneck. <laughs> On the consumer side, the headline is the Gemini Ultra subscription, $249.99 a month, United States only for now. Although if you're a first time subscriber, Google gives you 50% off for the first three months. So it starts at around $125 a month before jumping to full price. That Ultra Badge unlocks VO3 video generation with native sound effects and dialogue, the Flow Filmmaking Workspace, the new Deep Think Reasoning Mode inside Gemini 2.5 Pro, bigger limits in Notebook LM, the Whisk Image Remix tool, plus YouTube Premium, and 30 terabytes of Google Storage. If 20 bucks felt steep for the old Gemini Advanced tier, 249 sounds insane, until you realize Ultra is their all-you-can-eat compute buffet. A single VO render with spatial audio can burn more GPU minutes than most indie developers use in a week, so Google is basically asking, are you in or out? DeepThink itself is worth pausing on. Regular Gemini 2.5 Pro was already strong, but it answered in one pass like GPT-3 ARA models. Flip on DeepThink and it runs a parallel chain of thought, evaluating multiple solution paths before it speaks. That extra reflection time crushes the math and coding benchmarks that OpenAI's O1 Pro and O3 Pro had been flaunting. Right now, DeepThink is limited to trusted testers through the Gemini API, and Google is running extended safety checks before they open the floodgates, but we'll be benchmarking it the second that toggle appears in studio. Everyone wanted to see new media models, and Google delivered two. VO3 is the headline grabber, capable of generating 30-second, full, high-definition clips with improved physics and, for the first time, synchronized audio generated on the fly. That means footsteps, ambient noise, and even bits of dialogue come built in. They left behind a, a ball today. It bounced higher than I can jump. What manner of magic is that? It's a major leap towards cinematic quality AI video. Then there's Imogen 4, focused on still images, and it's all about precision, capturing textures like fabric, water droplets, and animal fur with impressive clarity. Google also mentioned that a new variant is on the way that could be up to 10 times faster than Imogen 3. Both of these models plug directly into Flow, Google's new filmmaking interface, where users can chain scenes together, extend clips, and blend reference images. It's not fully polished yet, especially when it comes to mixing elements from different models. But it finally gives multimodal creation a workspace that feels more like editing than guesswork. Now, speaking of AI upgrades you can actually build with, here is something big. Deep Agent just made something huge possible. You can now create your own version of ChatGPT and embed it directly into your website or app. This update turns Deep Agent into a full platform for building custom AI chatbots that feel personal, useful, and totally under your control. You get to choose the model, whether it's GPT, Gemini, or another 
top tier LLM, and you can customize everything from the theme and personality to the exact data your chatbot pulls from. Want it connected to your Google Drive, SharePoint, website docs, or even live internet sources? No problem. With the new Model Context Protocol integration, DeepAgent makes it simple to hook your bot into the tools and content you already use. This means you can create an AI chatbot that acts like a therapist, a customer support rep, a financial advisor, or even a fun digital persona. And unlike basic plugins, this one lives on your site, under your branding, with your design. It's like having a mini chat GPT running on your own domain. DeepAgent can also build dashboards, generate documents, automate workflows, and even interact with platforms like Google Tasks, Slack, Jira, and GitHub. All this is packed into a clean interface that lets you deploy your bot and app instantly and manage everything in one place. If you've ever wanted to build your own smart assistant or AI agent that actually knows your business or project, this is it. DeepAgent just turned every website into a potential AI-powered experience. All right, now, back to Google I.O. The Live Assistant story got louder, too. Gemini Live now rolls out camera and screen sharing for every iOS and Android user this week, powered by the low-latency Project Astra stack. You can chat naturally, flip the camera around, and the model keeps up in near real time. Google showed it grabbing directions from maps, dropping events into calendar, and filling to-dos in tasks without ever leaving the call. If that ties into personal context, if you grant permission, Gemini can mine your Gmail threads, drive docs, even past itineraries, then draft a reply that sounds like you. In the demo, it answered a friend's road trip question, matching the sender's casual greeting, pulling exact campsite links from an old spreadsheet, and even mirroring favorite word choices, all while promising the whole flow is private and under your control. We'll see how that plays once the privacy watchdogs weigh in. Search got a double upgrade. AI overviews already serve 1.5 billion users, but Google just flipped on a dedicated AI mode tab for everyone in the United States starting today. Regular queries still show classic links, yet one hop over you get a conversational answer with sources, follow-ups, and in a few months, live data visualizations for sports and finance. During the demo typing a dense NBA, Stats Question produced its own chart on the spot, no third-party plugin required. Project Mariner's web action chops are sliding into that tab too. Ask for baseball tickets, and AI mode can navigate the team site, pick seats, and hand you a checkout button already filled out, all while you watch from the side panel. Google swears the agent stays under your control, but the dream is obvious. Skip the blue links, let Gemini buy the thing. Speaking of Mariner, developers gained an SDK hook to those computer use capabilities, and early testers like UiPath are teaching it repetitive back office tasks. The neat trick is teach and repeat. Show the agent one full workflow, and it generalizes the plan for similar jobs later. Regular users on Ultra will see that same muscle inside the Gemini app as agent mode. Think apartment hunting, give it the wish list. Three bedrooms in Austin, washer dryer, $1,200 each, and it pings Zillow, adjusts filters, schedules a tour, and reports back, all while you chill. On the collaboration front, Google Meet absorbed Beam, the artist formerly known as Project Starline. The hardware still rocks, a six camera array and custom light field display for 3D telepresence. But now there's AI-driven near-perfect millimeter head tracking and 60-frame video. More jaw-dropping is live speech translation that keeps the original speaker's voice, tone, and facial expressions. English, Spanish hits beta first for AI Pro and Ultra subscribers and enterprise workspace customers can request early testing later this year. Developers didn't leave empty-handed. Stitch debuted as an AI front-end designer, described the layout, or even upload a mock-up and it spits back HTML and CSS you can tweak. Android Studio picked up journeys and an agent mode to walk through complex build steps, plus crash insight analysis powered by Gemini. Jules, the coding agent, graduated to handling GitHub pull requests and backlog tickets, setting itself up as a head-to-head -head rival to OpenAI's code interpreter style workflows. Meanwhile, Google AI Studio now exposes the lightning-fast Gemini Flash model and will add the new Imogen endpoint 
once the servers stop melting. A quick sweep of the smaller but still noteworthy launches, Wear OS 6 introduces unified fonts on tiles and dynamic theming that syncs watch face colors with Pixel hardware. Google Play gets topic browse pages for movies and shows, United States only for now, audio samples so you can preview in-app content, and a new checkout flow with multi-product subscription bundles. Subscription add-ons finally live under one payment umbrella, and developers can kill a live release if a fatal bug shows up in the first hour. Huge quality of life fix for hardware, Gemma 3N, a 4 billion parameter model optimized for phones, laptops, and tablets arrives in preview with full multimodal support. And yes, Synth IDA Detector is now a public portal. Upload an image, audio file, text, or video, and it flags whether Google's invisible watermark is embedded. That's going to be essential as VO content starts flooding social feeds. Infrastructure fans got one more geeky nugget, Gemini Diffusion, an experimental text-to-application model that uses parallel generation to spit out functional prototypes basically instantaneously. They demoed it generating an entire front-end app in the time it took to narrate the prompt. That same parallel technique underpins the new Flash model, which is second only to 2.5 Pro in capability, but wins on speed and cost, landing generally in early June. There's a hardware cherry on top. Project Astra glasses morph into Android XR. During the live demo, the presenter asks Gemini through the lenses to remind them of the coffee shop name printed on their cup, then overlay walking directions in full 3D. Samsung, Warby Parker, and Gentle Monster are official partners, so by the time Meta's next Ray-Ban collaboration ships, Android will have its own XR ecosystem waiting. Now, all of this inevitably begs the price question. Google's tiering is pretty clear. The everyday crowd gets AI overviews, Gemini Live Voice, and baseline image generation for free. The $20 AI Pro plan, formerly Gemini Advance, grabs you 2.5 Pro, standard VO, and Imogen and larger context windows. Ultra at $249.99 is where the bleeding edge toys live. VO3 with audio, 30 terabyte storage, deep think, flow, agent mode, massive 30,000 page context bucket, plus the experimental developer knobs like Mariner, Teach, and Repeat. Europeans, yes, it's a headache right now. VPNs and billing addresses still trip the upgrade flow, but Google promises wider rollout soon. We'll see. The subtext through all these launches is that Google is cannibalizing its own classic products. Chrome will get a Gemini sidebar that summarizes any page. Search's AI mode threatens the blue link economy. Play Store topic pages gently steer users away from third-party recommendation blogs. And with Beam and LiveMeet translation, those standalone virtual events platforms lose a major selling point. Google's betting that owning the full vertical from TPU Silicon to Consumer UI will fend off competition from OpenAI, Anthropic, and whoever else rolls up with a flashy demo. As always, the proof will come when real users slam these tools at scale. Will VO3 stay coherent on a 10 second camera pan? Does DeepThink hallucinate less or just hallucinate more confidently? Can Synth ID survive a heavy Instagram filter? Over the next few weeks, I'll be stress testing Ultra, pushing deep research on 50 academic PDFs, teaching Mariner how to file expense reports, and seeing if those personalized Gmail replies actually sound like me or like corporate copy. That's the whirlwind tour. Trillion scale token counts, parallel thinking language models, 3D telepresence, AI built apps in a blink, and a subscription tier that costs more than some people's rent. Google didn't just iterate this year, it carpet bombed the whole product line with generative AI. The ball is squarely in OpenAI's court now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.